We are Team Ducks, here to present an outperformance during the preliminary round of Tianjin's Invitational Coastways Rescue U19. So here's a short introduction of the team. I'm Venus, and my main programming language is Python. I've also participated in the Singapore Robo Cup Coastways Rescue this year. I'm Ernest, and I'm mainly programmed in Python and C++. With some experience in Coastways Rescue, both this year and last year. We went for the category of Coastbase Rescue U19, where the goal of the challenge was to have the robot collect gems scattered around the map and deposit them while avoiding obstacles and traps. The main strategies we used in maximizing our chances of success are zoning and pathfinding. So let's start with zoning. Zoning is a process in which the map is split into zones for gems, giving the robot knowledge about roughly where the gems of each color will spawn. So naturally, each zone has its respective reward values for the gems within it, and there are also minimum and maximum x and y values that correspond to the borders of the zone. The robot will decide what the best zone it can go to by calculating the zone efficiency as shown by the formula. It will then move to the zone with the highest efficiency to collect the gems. Our zoning was mainly used to obtain as many sets of R, C, C, B, B as possible, so we could spawn C++ objects repeatedly. Next comes the part where the robot must know how to get to each zone, as well as other tasks where the robot needs to find an object. The method here used here is the A star search algorithm, which finds the shortest path from any point to any other point. Well, to start with any pathfinding, the robot must know the map. So this process is started by painting over the map with Microsoft Paint to simplify it, and removing all the lighting and making the map much easier for the program to parse. And afterward, we can put the simplified map into a Python program that outputs a 2D C or C++ array using the Python imaging library, taking RGB values of the pixels from the simplified map. This array is then fed into a C++ program that is used to generate a map of weights, with higher numbers corresponding to more difficult to range trappers, so the pathfinding algorithm will avoid them. This weight map is pasted into the code for the A star algorithm to work, generating the shortest path. All right, so here's a demonstration of how the robot works. At this stage, the robot is traversing around the map, looking at the different zones that it can travel to, and what kinds of objects it needs to collect so that it can complete a full set of RRCCBB. In this case, you can see that the robot is staying to the bottom right in order to collect black objects, and immediately moves up to the a higher red zone where when it has both uh, black objects that it needs to complete the set. It then traverses around until it finds more cyan objects. And once that is done, it will be able to deposit it and create a super plus object. So as you can see, the robot has finally found the final uh, object for the RCCBB set, and now it's depositing the object. And it moves around in a random motion, in random uh, directions, in order to find the uh, super plus object in its uh, in its color sensors. So it's now just scouring the map and looking at for any possible um, surplus objects it can still collect. And although it is not very successful in this regard, because the time has actually run out, it does show that um, firstly the A star pathfinding does work well and the zoning can be improved on, but but all in all the results were still pretty okay. Alright, so using the techniques we showed off previously, we actually managed to get a high score of 2,730 points during the preliminary round, which is much higher than last time. Pathfinding and optimization was the key to our success this time, as it allowed the robot to perform better and better every time.
Next, we'll be showing you how to debug your variables in C code. We'll be putting the variables into the debug menu of the simulator so that you can watch the variables change in real time. So as you can see on the pictures on the left, we have the debug screen and the AI screen. Firstly, we'll need to find the get debug info function, which is usually at the very bottom of the C code. It should look something similar to the picture there. But ours is already modified and also color coded so that you can see things. You'll need to add the variable's name to the string, which is the orange part of the code. You can put in you can put it in any order, but you'll need to remember and use the correct order later. So we recommend putting it at the very start or the very end. You will also need to reuse the format shown below. Var name equals percentage D. We'll be covering the format specifier later, but for now, we can just leave it as percentage D. Finally, you will need to put the variable into the red part of the code, separated from the other variables by commas. This is where the order comes into play. You need to make sure that the order is correct. So if you put it first in the string, it should also be the first variable after the string. With this, the debugging code should work for most people. But in case you are looking for more advanced debugging, you will need to know about format specifiers. Depending on the type of variable you are going to be debugging, you will need to change the format specifier, which is the letter after the percentage sign. As you can see, there's a list of common and useful format specifiers on the slides for your convenience. So you can just swap out percentage D for another format specifier according to your needs. Now, in the real world, search and rescue robots are also able to make use of pathfinding. Although, we expect it to be much harder as the environment is more likely to change with time, not as easy to map out, and is much more dangerous and hazardous. However, it's a possibility that with real-time map generation and sharing of generated maps between multiple robots, pathfinding can still be very helpful. Thank you for your attention. Oh, 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 oh,